Hello, my name is Adrian Cherry and welcome to these QCAD tutorials. This is really part seven extras, a few tips. I've had a couple of queries about the filling, um, the hatched areas for, for the etching. So just a couple of tips. So this is where we're up to. Uh, I'll just turn off the outline and the metal fill um, to cover this. A um, couple of the errors, because it, it will complain if uh, there's anything wrong with filling in the hatches. So this is for the half edge. Is if I turn that off and I zoom in a bit, you can see. So these details are the half edge rivets and slots. I want to fill in for the half edge. Now, in the tutorial, I've already got that, but uh, some people are having fun. Now the thing is with doing the hatch fill, it's got to be an enclosed boundary. So it can't be a shape or something like that, or an image. It's got to be drawing, so if I turn that off. So you can see we've got a couple of circles and this rectangle. Um, if the rectangles don't meet, if it doesn't make a box, so let's get an example quickly. Um, let's just draw a quick And uh, just free form on the uh, end, so if it doesn't quite meet, if I then select all this for I draw a bounding box around that and say, right, let's uh, put a hatching on there, you can see at the bottom it says on the uh, error messages, loop not closed at point, and it tells you, but if you look on the drawing as well, it's actually. Uh, circles the point where it's not enclosed. So when it's trying to fill the hatch, if it's not an enclosed box, it won't work. So in this case, we can uh, deselect that, take that. Um, if we delete that line, and we'll just put in another line, and snap endpoint to endpoint. So you can see when I put a line in, and escape if I now select all of that um, try and put the hatch in and then comes up and allows me to put the hatch in so that's one thing to check that's one error message so let's just get rid of that right the other thing is is to check what exactly you're doing with fill on the example i selected these um, and you can see the best thing to look at is this property editor. So this box here will bring up the property editor um, where you might have it on one of the tabs. So if I draw my binding box around what I want to fill, I had eight circles, four on each side, and a rectangle, four lines per each. So I've got eight lines, eight circles. And you can see under the property editor, it's telling me what I've selected. I've got 16 entities which are the circles and lines, and if I pull on that drop down, it tells me I've got eight lines next eight circles. This is also summarized at the bottom. If you look at the bottom of the QCAD on the uh, status bar, it says I've got 16 entities on layer three, which is what I'm expecting. So when I press the hatch to fill, I'll go to the half edge and fill there. Um, so if I want to put that in, I can do the hatch, click OK, um, and it does the fill, which is what I'd already done there. Now what you'll see is if I've selected too many things, if I've got both layers turned on and visible, if I select all of those, when you go to the property editor now, you can see it says 17. It's not what I'm expecting. So what's, and again, if I now try and do a hatch fill, if I, yes, I've got layer four active, if I try and do a hatch now, it comes up with the error message, each boundary entry must be line, arc, circle, ellipse, da, 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 and it's found a hatch. So this is actually what I've selected from layer four. So I've already got a hatched entity in there. And it's, it's not a bounded box, so it won't fill it, it won't deal with that. And again, if I go to the property editor, now it says I've got 17 items entered. If I pull on the pull down, it's 
got my eight lines, eight circles, and this hatch one, which is on layer four. So I can select that, and it tells me that that one hatch is on layer four, which is what I'd expect because I've already done it. But that's what the error message is about. So if I turn that off, um, the visibility of layer four, you can see my selection now has dropped to 16 because I've turned the visibility off. Funnily enough, if I turn that back on, by turning it on and off, I've deselected all of the items on layer four. So now my selection has got 16, so I'm back down to my eight lines and eight circles from layer three. But I want the hatch to be on layer four, which is why I've turned layer four back on and made that active again. I go over to the hatch now, if I click on that, it comes up with a box and it will allow me to put in the hatch on that. So the thing is, check the selected entities at the bottom, make sure it's what you expect, um, also the selection there, pull on the drop down list and if you've got hatch, whatever the error message, the error message said hatch, if it's something else, you can select that, try and find out where it is, if it's on one layer, turn that off and turn it back on again, and then hopefully. The other way to do it is, because if I go back to that, turn that off, if you've got lots of objects on one area, then you can, I was just doing, I was just selecting them by dragging a box around, and the box just selects everything in that area. You can actually set the select mode to select contours, and the contours is, as it implies, is the box or the circle that you want to do. So we will only select the contours. So what we can do is go to select contour, and then in the bar across the top, the modes, you can just have single select, or this one, if I hover over, you can see there, add to the current, so you can select many. So that way, I can just go across and select the items I want individually. So if there was more detail in here that I didn't want to add, I can just select and keep adding contours, and it will just pick up the bits that I want to fill. So again, by the time I've got to the end, again, look at the bottom. I've got 16 entities on one layer. My property editor is saying the same thing all looking good. So if I go over to the hatch area, click on that, I can then fill those in on the hatch. So there's a couple of things there that you can try if you're having trouble getting the program to fill in your contours. So I hope that helps.